what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys. Uh, what I do is number wheel. And we're going to do addition on the number wheel. So, okay. Come and get a number. I'm going to mix these up. Oh, look at that. There's 10. Yeah, grab a number. I might need a couple uh, parents to join us. Let's see what we got here. Got one, got one. Everybody got one? Okay. And, yep. and I need one more. Good? Yeah. Cool. Now, what I'm going to do is have you all get up here and create a number line. First, first of all, let me just show you a number line. How many know what a number line is? That's a great question. Raise a hand. Do you know what a number line is? You do. It's when you line a lot of things up in a number. In a number. So, for instance, this is a number line. And it goes up to 18. Now, you want to show me where 1 is on there? 1 is right there. So 1 isn't on the end. 0 is on the end. And it goes up to 18. So this is a bigger number line. You want to show me where 1 is on there? There's 1 right there. So there's a whole space before you get to 1. And that's 0 there. So this is all the way to 36. But we're going to do it the easy way. We're only going to use 10 digits. That's all. We're not going to go all the way to 36 or anything like that. We're just going to go to 10. And we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Is 10 a digit? 10 is two digits. It's a 1 and a 0. So we'll just do the 0. Okay? So we'll start out with 10. Who's got 10? Cool. You're down here, and zero is up here, and everybody else get in the line here. Okay, Jake. Get yourself in the line. You got the first line. You got to be four. Go straight. And you two have to decide who's six and who's nine. Stand in line. Okay, so you are one, so you're right next to, there's zero, you're on the end here, aren't you? You guys figure it out. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Cool. Now, you guys are a number line. And here is the end of a number line with zero on it. You take that knot right here. With your hand, you have one hand on it, and you're one, right on the knot. Right on the knot. There you go. Yep. 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 Yeah. Cool. 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 And you're on the end. You guys make a circle. <laughs> See, with a yardstick, you can't bend it in a circle, can you? You guys figure out how to make a circle. Oh, make a full in. circle. There you go. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, do you know how many of you there are? No, there's 11. Because we have zero and we have 10. So, zero and 10, you two put your knots together. You both are both 10. Yeah. Okay, now. What's halfway around the circle? Yes. You are halfway around. So why don't you guys get near the wall? And you guys, you come away from the wall. So just slide around. So you just kind of turn the wheel a little bit, just like that. Just perfect. Okay, put the two knots together. Mm -hmm. That's just one. Yeah. Now put them. Keep it in as much a circle as you can, and just put it down evenly on the floor. 
and then put your numbers right by your knot. Now here's where it gets really fun. Okay? Now, let's even this out a little bit, make a better circle. Now, on nine, okay, how many more, what are really important is numbers that add up to 10. Numbers that add up to 10 are, are important because that's if we add more, that's like where we round off, but it's also the numbers that add up to 10 use the same patterns a lot. And you'll see that. So it's really important to learn those numbers that add up to 10. So let's start with numbers that add up to 10. Now you are 9, and put that toward the person that adds up to 10. 9 and what? Help them out. 9, nine and, and... Huh? 9 and what equals 10? 1. Okay, so put it between 9 and 1, just like that. Cool. Now, you are 8. So, 8 and what number equals 10? 8 and 2 equals 10. Look at that. They're both, what about those numbers? What do you see about those? It's like, it's 8, 9, then 1, 2. It's the same thing, but one's on the end and one's in the beginning. Yeah. That kind of makes sense. That's cool. Okay, now who's seven? You're seven, right? Seven and what number, how many, raise your hands. How many know seven and what make 10? Seven and three. Okay, help out. Seven and three. Okay. Now what do you notice about those sticks? Anybody notice anything about it? Yeah. Seventy-three. It's also seventy-three. You can make a two-digit number from it, can't you? In eighty-two and sixty-one. Yeah, you can do that. Anything notice about the pattern on it? Let's do the next one. You're six, right? Six and, raise a hand, you know, six and what? Five. Equals 10. No? Okay. Six and four. Six and four. Okay, you two both do that one. Oh, isn't that interesting? What about five and, five and what number? Zero. Five and zero equals 10? Five and five and five equals ten. So five's all by itself down there. Yeah. Cool. So you just double that one. All right. Now I'm going to do a little magic trick. Okay. Does this all make sense? That this is a number line mm -hmm. in a circle. Because what I'm going to do. Is disappear this. Grab your numbers. And somebody grab the rope. Yeah, just move it out of the way. Because look at this. Is that the same thing that you just made? Is that the same? Yeah. Cool. Now. This time, what's at the very top? Zero. Zero. Now I want to show you a couple things about it. Is this a little bit like a, a wheel, huh? Goes around. What's this? You know what that is? That's where Santa Claus lives. The North Pole. The North Pole. And they call it the North Pole because it all turns, just like there's a big rod through it. Goes right on down, 